Hey guys, so I am just driving back from my work, even though it's my day off, because um, I went to a nursery school this morning to pick up some giant African land snails that they didn't want anymore. So yeah, I went to pick those up um, from Hitchin, um, and there was like easily like 30 or 40 in the tub that they gave me. So I took them to work and we put them in the, in the enclosure um, and they all seem really happy now. A couple of them had like cracked shells where they'd been like sucking the calcium off of each other, um, which just means that they didn't have enough cuttlefish or calcium in the enclosure for that many land snails really. They only had about two or three pieces, which is enough for like a few snails. Um, they really do need quite a lot of it to protect their shells because it's their home, you know. Um, so yeah, I've done that today so far. Um, I also went over to the dentist, I was meant to have three fillings done, um, but ended up having just a checkup because I got stuck in traffic, so when I got there she was like, oh we can't actually, um, I can't actually fit you in for the full appointment, and I was like, what? I was like, but this is really important, and having a checkup is not that important to me because I know that I need to have three fillings, and guess what, I left and he was like, oh yeah, you still need the three fillings done, and I was like, well I already knew that. So that was a bit of a pain in the bum. But it was nice going to work and seeing everybody and, you know, seeing the animals while I'm not actually having to do any work. Um, I don't know why, it just seems to feel an awful lot nicer, which is really weird. Um, but now I'm on my way to Hitchin. Um, I've got to pick up a couple of, like, long sleeve tops, like the one I'm wearing. Um, purely for the fact that, like, it's getting quite cold now. Well, to me, it's getting quite cold now. And when I'm at work, I wear a t-shirt. Because um, my big jumpery thing is way too big. So I want to get some long sleeve t-shirts to wear underneath. Um, so that I can stay a bit warmer, really. I mean, the only problem with our work is like it's either freezing cold or because it's like a massive greenhouse, it's like boiling hot and you feel like you're like abroad just walking around in the boiling heat. And it's, it's not very nice, but I kind of just have to put up with it because it is my workplace. And I do enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm off to town to grab those. I might pop into the vape bar and see if I can grab some calls for my other vape that I've got that Darius has still got at his house, but it's actually mine, which is a bit of a nuisance, but um, no, yeah, that's just what happens in relationships, I think, you just steal off each other. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do that and just relax really and just take my day off as it comes and just do what I want to do. Um, but I'm going to upload um, a couple of pictures of those land snails in a minute because we made them quite a cool enclosure and he even made like a little sign to go in the corner which says cuttlefish corner um so it's kind of like a little like you've got two pieces of cuttlefish at the side of it and then like a little wooden sign that just says cuttlefish corner written in sharpie that i did which looks a little bit uh, a bit naff but it's quite quirky so you'll be able to see that in a second when i upload that and also um as soon as i walked into work after like doing the land snail stuff I decided to go and look up the guinea pigs because I love them. And um, because I've got dungarees on, I was thinking like, guinea pig, dungaree pouch, I'm so gonna do that. So I uh, I stuffed, not stuffed, that sounds awful. I put one of the little black and white guinea pigs into my pouch. Um, so I'll put a picture up of that as well. It was pretty cool. It, it didn't really want to get out either. It looked like it was so like toasty and secure. It just wanted to stay there. So I had to like unpin my dungarees to let it out. but. Um, yeah, I could have easily like still had it in there now if I didn't have to undo them to push it out, <laughs> which is a bit annoying, but it obviously didn't want to leave me. So yeah, I will upload those pictures in a minute, and then uh, when I get to town, I will do some more videoing. So for now, I shall see you. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back home now and have been for an hour or so, I think. Um, when you saw the videos of the vape bar, I kind of just stayed there for the rest of the day. I know that sounds really sad, but um, 
I know all the guys in there and have done for quite some time and we all get on really well so I just chill in there drink coffee have a laugh obviously you have a vape um sounds really weird but um yeah that's what we do um so I'm now just sitting with uh my little amigo down there who's a bit poorly he's got a bad belly um but he seems to be sort of coping I guess I don't really know um he'll be fine um and I'm watching friends I am actually watching it it's just I put it on mute to do the video I'm not just sitting here just reading their lips as it goes on um and this is how lazy I am right I like sometimes I try and dodge dinner I don't know why I just sometimes just don't like eating dinner and it, it just gets on my nerves so mum was like, you need to eat something, there's a salad bowl in the fridge. So, instead of getting a plate, I kind of just like got the salad bowl out and um, stuck a tin of tuna in the bowl. So, really, this is quite good because it's like, all I've got to wash up is the fork. So I've just got my little plastic bowl, like a mixed salad with like carrot and leaves and things, and then just two pots of tuna and some mayo and it's done just throw it in the bin and wash the fork sorted um so yeah that kind of like ends my day really i'm just gonna chill out for the evening have a shower watch this um go to bed and get up for work tomorrow so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video um i know all of my videos are a little bit hit and miss like sometimes they're really interesting well to me i think they're interesting and some people but others obviously not um, I don't ever really do videos about the same thing. I just kind of do it as I feel like it, really. Um, I don't do things on, like, all beauty stuff or all animals or all this or all that. It's just whatever comes to mind and whatever I'm doing. So, yeah. Um, I should not really take a mouthful of food while I was doing that. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, so I'm going to call it a day here. And... Whatever springs to my next, about our next video, I shall do it. It's about it, really. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. While I was out, I did buy those long sleeves tops that I said about earlier. I got a couple of different colours and a couple of pairs of earrings. Which I wasn't really meant to do, but I did. And then, while I was in the vape bar, this girl was wearing a Fitbit. And I was kind of like, hmm. I've worn one of them for ages. So she was showing me hers, and it's like the Fitbit... Like the first, not the first, yeah, she's got the first generation, whatever it is. And it looked really cool, she told me all the different things it could do. And I was like, well, I've been thinking about getting one for ages. So I looked online and found the Fitbit Charge 2, or 2 Charge, whatever that's called. So it's like the second one up from the one she had. Um, and it wasn't cheap, I think it was like 120 quid, which is, it's not cheap. But, you know, the stuff that it does is incredible, it's like, monitors your sleep cycle, your heart rate. To, if you're having like a kind of panicky moment and your heart rate gets too fast, it tells you like breathing strategies, um, all sorts of shit, like loads of stuff. So I didn't mean to say shit, I apologize. I said it again. Um, but yeah, it tells you loads of different things. If you don't know all the different things it does, then go on to um, the Fitbit website and it's the Fitbit 2 Charge or Charge 2, whatever. Um, you can read up about all the cool things that you can do with it. And I got it in teal as well, with like the blue, kind of like a baby blue kind of colour. Um, which is quite cool. I'm just letting it charge at the moment. It's just sitting over there charging. You kind of have to like clip the charge around it. Because underneath is like a little battery type thing. I'll show you. So you know what I'm talking about. So this is the watch. It's a really funky colour. And then, yeah, this bit just kind of clips round. And then underneath I take the charger off that's what it looks like underneath so it's like a little oh god ah it's like a little i don't know little gadgety device thing it's really cool um but yeah i'm gonna give that a go and you could there's like an app you can get on your phone as well to connect it and you can put in like what you eat in a day how many glasses of water you take in um what else was there I can't remember really just loads of stuff just if you haven't got one and you're thinking about getting one have a look on the website and you know see what you think of it but um 
I'll do an update on, in a couple of weeks' time and tell you how I'm getting on with it. But I think it's going to be really good and I can't wait to use it properly. Just hopefully it doesn't get ruined at work tomorrow. I did get it insured, luckily, so I should be okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I shall see you all very soon. I'm going to get going now and carry on watching Friends, like I said. Um, I hope you all have a great evening and a great day tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I will probably check in either tomorrow night or next day, a couple of days. Just, you know, if a video idea pops into mind, I shall do it. If not, I'll see you when one does. So take care, everyone, and I shall see you soon. It's a big goodbye from me and Alfie. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>